So I got one of these solo stoves and I'll show you a couple pictures here of what happened to it. It uh, buckled. Uh, there's a weld seam right here and this one is a new one. This one is the replacement that they sent me. And here, let me show you the pictures of what happened. Here's a picture of what happened. It's a buckle on either side of the weld and you'll see more of the weld later in the video. Uh, I circled it for them when I sent these pictures in for the replacement claim. This is by far the best picture of it. And you can see the weld seam goes down the middle and there's this buckling on either side, clearly from heat. I guess if you overload this thing with wood, uh, you could buckle the stainless. Um, so note to self, uh, don't put too much wood in it. However, uh, it was a little bit of a fight to get them to send me this one. And when I got it, this one's on the stand, this one's not. I left the stand on the, in the box on that one. This is not about the stand. When I got it, I took the uh, ring out and I was like, man, I can actually bend this with my hand. It seemed just, I don't remember it feeling that cheap. And then, look at this. It's literally like, I don't even know. Can you see that? I'll show you this one in a minute. But anyway, uh, I felt like, it's, I know it's not counterfeit, right? But it feels like a knockoff. And then I pull it out of the box and look at this. This is the weld. It's not even welded all the way at the top. And it's just kind of brushed. See that? And then this one, you almost can't even see the weld. There it is right there. But it's completely finished to the top. This one has like these pits. This one's perfect. And it gets, uh, it gets even better. So this one, this is a, this thing is beefy. I mean, it's got some weight to it. And look at the logos. This logo is punched nice and clean. This logo is kind of soft. And then the icing on the cake was um, the finish on e each one. So uh, in the lip here, this one is all rough and like literally horrible. And this one's beautiful, worthy of the price they charge. And, just, I think they sent me like a second. So if you complain to Solo Stove or if you get a warranty replacement, take a good look at what they send you because this is the crap that they sent me. What I ended up doing was buying another one and you know exactly what I'm gonna do. This defect is going back in the box and it's getting returned and I'm keeping this one, but this one was the same as the first one that I got. Beautiful. And that's one of the reasons why I bought this. You know, it's a little fireplace out here on the dock. And I bought it because it's so nice looking. Um, and when I got this one, I was like, am I crazy? The thing that tipped me off was, was how flimsy this, this ring was. Also, interesting when you walk by it. So I never noticed this one. It's hard to tell, but it's that one. It's making all the noise. I don't know if you can tell on the speaker, but that one is the one that makes all kinds of noise. And when I walk around out on the dock, I never noticed that the old one made any noise whatsoever. That one, it even sounds cheap. So anyway, moral of this story is Solo Stove makes a great product, in my opinion, as long as you buy it. <laughs> if they send you a replacement, you might get whatever this is. Super thin ring, really horrible weld, uh, all kinds of garbage in here, and makes noise. 
as opposed to the really nice one. So anyway, I would still recommend them. I mean, just buy it. <laughs> and if you have to return it, uh, just buy another one and stick it in the box, I guess, because this is what they try to do to you. All right, till next time. See ya. Here's the setup. Looks nice, doesn't it?